Hello guys what's up, so I'm back again for another tutorial video. So in this video, I will gonna show you how you can download and play the Slither.io game on your PC or laptop, so if you are interested then keep on watching. But before all that, if you are new to my channel consider to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and also, you can comment down below if you have something that you want me to make a tutorial about. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. So to download and play the Slither.io game on your PC or laptop, it's actually pretty easy, just follow what I'm gonna do. So for the first step, I want you to go to your Microsoft Edge browser. Reminder guys, you can't use any other web browser, you must only use Microsoft Edge in order for this to work, but if you don't have a Microsoft Edge, you can download it on Chrome easily, just search for Microsoft Edge download and then you will now be able to find the website where you can download it. And once you already have your Microsoft Edge, just go and open it. And once you're on your Microsoft Edge, next, you will need to go to the official website of Slither.io, since that's where we can download the game, so just search for Slither.io on your search bar. And now that you are on the official website of Slither.io, let me now show you how you can download the game. So to do that, First, I want you to tap this three dots at the top. And then select the apps option. And after that, you will now be able to see this install this site as an app option right here. Just go and click it. And then just click the install button. And after that, it's done. Congratulations, you will now have your Slither.io game installed on your device, so you can now start playing the game. And by the way guys, you might notice that even after installing Slither.io, you might still not find the game on your desktop home screen. So to fix that, just go back to the game. And once you're on the app, I want you to click this three dots right here. And then select app settings. And finally, for the last step, just click this create desktop shortcut button to add the app to your desktop home screen. And after clicking it, it's done. Congratulations, the game will now be added to your desktop home screen, so you can now. And so that's just how you do it guys, now that you've watched this video you can now do it yourself. So that concludes our tutorial video for today, I hope it helped you, thanks for watching, goodbye.